Good evening, everyone. Michael Pontique is here. Do you alive creative director, professor at YSU, teaching advertising, creative, and marketing and public relations. Coming to you live from my office, home office. Of course, we all have to have home offices. Just trying to finish up where Dennis left off yesterday with his little T-Rex, although I don't have any toys like that. But just going to give you some tips and tricks and see what I could do in five minutes like he did. But I do have a very special guest in my office today. My youngest daughter in from Pace University. Go on, go on in. Who is a marketing major at Pace University, who is a member of the Pace University Ads Club, who is starting her own blog that we're actually working on. And she's using pretty easy. What are we using? Squarespace. Squarespace. Got her all signed up on Squarespace. Pretty easy if you don't know how to get into the whole design aspect of anything. And she's doing great. I've used Squarespace for some of my clients and helping them get out there, you know, setting it up. Now, not everybody can be a designer and we get that. And not everybody can also be that real fast, you know, creative, but it helps. Come in. I would come in, set up their website and go through the whole thing. And now she's doing it. Here's my little blogger extraordinaire. What's your website's name? BaileyNYC.com. We're not there yet. We're still working on the logo, but it's getting there. All right. So the next couple Tuesdays, I'm going to probably be coming at you, oh, I don't know, around 7 o'clock, a little bit before 7 o'clock, and then starting to kind of like go through a few things. So this is my first foray into doing this since Dennis told me that I had to do it. So I can, you know, get Starbucks. He's going to take me to Starbucks and get, buy me a coffee, right? Because all we, you know, marketing, digital marketing and creative people, we need our coffee. So I just want to introduce myself first. Um, but I'm going to be bringing some tips on creative and really what are the best practices to do certain things, especially when it comes to developing content for social media, for the web, and how it's going to look good throughout all your devices. So if you're... If you're developing an ad for Facebook, is it going to look good on Instagram? Or what are you going to do for Twitter? And what are those specific sizes? Now, it's kind of hard to go through that in a whole five minutes. But next couple Tuesdays, around 7 o'clock, I will be here trying to answer questions or anything else that I can even after that um, if you need any questions to be answered when it comes to that. Because it could be a daunting task. You know, what do I do first? How do I set up my images what do I use? Can I use a certain image? If I pull something that's on the web that's free, is it somebody else's property? So we have to be careful when we're doing those things. So again, I don't have any toys like, you know, I don't know, a T-Rex on my desk. I do have certain things like I have a Batman and maybe some things over here like, I don't know, whatever it is. Whatever creative has on my bear hat, actually. Um, but it's going to be fun. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to hopefully help you in your problems and try and give you some tips and tricks. Um, like Dennis said, you know, try and... It's my bear hat. It's my lucky bear hat um, that my daughter is probably going to take to school. Um, but it's cool. That's all right. I might have that on one day, depending on how my day is. It's Tuesday. It's the beginning of the week, for the most part. Well, since yesterday was a holiday, but there's never a holiday when it comes to this kind of stuff. I'm just rambling right now, but that's okay. That's what I do best. Um, eventually, I'll get tied in and, and rather in, and you know, I, I'm not going to have her for you know, not too much longer because she's going back to school. But we could have maybe a have her do a Facebook Live from the Big Apple as well and seeing what's going on over there. Um, bottom line is, is stay on top of everything and what you're doing um, and, and being careful. And when you're out there and trying to be that creative person and trying to develop the creative and how you're going to grab people's attention and what you're going to do, what does YSU Ad Club do? Well, it's funny you should ask that question. We do a lot of stuff. YSU Ads Club is a part of the American Advertising Federation. And they are 
YSU Ads Club is a collegiate chapter of the American Advertising Federation, and we're actually working on a new client every year for this national competition called the National Scholastic Advertising Competition. And we're District 5, so we go up against teams from Kentucky, from other Ohio, uh, other schools in Ohio, um, and West Virginia. And last year, a great team of, of students, and I, I mean, they could probably run any advertising agency in this area. Um, they're that good. And we came in fourth in probably one of the hardest districts. And last year, our competition, our, the client that we had was Snapple. And it was a $50 million budget. And from strategy to creative to everything, we missed placing in the top three by like 10 points. And one of the gentlemen who was one of the judges actually came up to us and said, you know what, you guys were too good for Snapple. And I'm like, well, if we were too good for Snapple, then maybe we should have just, you know, why don't we just win, you know. But again, this year we're doing Taipei. And, and, and these students, I mean, like I said, they could do anything. They're a great bunch of kids um, that are going to make it big in the advertising industry. Um, and, and that's what, you know, is enjoyable from that. Uh, what's that? Nope, don't need that. Um, so... If you want to get a hold of me, you know where to find me at Do You Alive. If you have any creative questions or anything like that, shoot me a shoot me a question or a message. I'll hopefully answer it to you. Um, or you could, you know, um, shoot me an email at mgp at. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to say. Dennis has a hard time saying it. Socketknopdesign.com. S O K I T N O P Design.com. Uh, it's just my last name spelled backwards. Um, and hopefully, I can help you out in any way. Or, again, find me here next Tuesday on Facebook Live. Um, so, have a good night. Enjoy yourself. Um, I got my new toy with this little uh, tripod here. And uh, let me know what you want to know. And uh, hopefully I can answer any question. Have a good night. Take care. Bye.